Well, glory to God. Welcome once again to Power of Faith. I'm Pastor Philip Durbin, my lovely wife, Alberta lovely. Durbin. We are just delighted to be able to share with you the truths of God's word once again. Luke 137 says, For with God, nothing, absolutely nothing, shall be impossible. And it's November 18th, nothing. thankful Thursday. Nothing. How art thou? I am thankful. Oh, God, am I thankful. Me too. Really thankful. I am. And if you if you are a born again, spirit filled, word of faith, powerful Christian, you ought to be real thankful. Mm -hmm. Real thankful. I can't just say saved because people that are saved and don't know anything, I can't imagine how they'd be thankful. They don't know anything. But anyway, I'm real thankful. Well, praise God. We're glad you joined us for this next half hour. And uh, again, you keep bringing in a steady diet mm -hmm. of new creation reality, and it'll it'll get you living from the inside out. That's right. And when when you start experiencing that new life, living that way, acting that way, talking that way, functioning that way, things change. Mm -hmm. And uh, what it, you know, I remember Alberta, how it affected our finances. Uh, when when we discovered righteousness, uh, we were just surviving uh, in a very yeah. But we had those yeah. first years were phenomenal. It, we had. Challenges, but look what we saw miracles all I the time. I ain't talking about that. I'm talking about money in my pocket. Oh, well, we were learning, like we you told were, me. We were surviving. When I said, God doesn't want us to we were not surviving, have any food. remember? We Going to learning. a restaurant and had $30. That's all we had. And, and the gas tank's on empty, all that. But when we discovered righteousness, something clicked. Something shifted inside of me the more I uh the more that became a reality to yeah, me yeah but it, it not only became a real I mean we got the the revelation initially but it, it you had to work it and work it still have to work it you still have to work your righteousness what I'm trying to say if you'd listen <laughs> is yeah. how when I discovered that righteousness and it became real to me it directly affected our financial manifestation. We started seeing a greater amount of manifestation coming into our lives. And I knew it was directly linked to new creation reality because now the devil couldn't condemn us, accuse us, uh, and make you feel shameful or guilty or whatever about something that uh, like say me and you got into it and and uh, then we uh, got it right but then the devil would beat us up like yeah look at you why well, you know you're, you're just a mess well righteousness would kick in and boom all of a sudden uh, we'd have we'd have a manifestation of finances and uh, so in and, and the more you understand this same thing with healing the, uh, you know, Son of Righteousness arises with healing in his wings. The more you understand your righteousness, the easier it is to receive the promises of God. And uh, that's just, uh, that's why, who was it, Peter talking about? Uh, we left off. Where, where he's talking to, uh, let me find it here. Because this was a, a, it changed me when I understood this. In in first in Second Peter, chapter one, verse one, Simon Peter, a servant and apostle of Jesus Christ, to them that have obtained like precious faith with us through the righteousness of God and our Savior Jesus Christ. Now, see, before I understood righteousness, I always 
uh, read that as to them that have obtained like precious faith. But it says to them that have obtained like precious faith through the righteousness of God our Savior. And then it goes on talking about uh, that you might be partakers, the exceeding great and precious promises that you might be partakers of his divine nature. So when that righteousness revelation became uh, real, it affected the promises we were standing on and they were able to come into our lives because the devil, it, it, it chopped the devil out from his condemning us out of him, shaming us out of him, so on and so forth. That's what I'm trying to say. So it's November 18th, hon. How are you today? On this thankful, thankful Thursday? <laughs> I am thankful. That's what I was saying. I'm very, very thankful. God, I'm so thankful that I know him. Are you ready to dive into this? I'm ready. Okay. So we're at November. November 18th is my natural daddy's birthday. Really? Yep. He lived to be, he what, 99? Died. Yeah, just so close to his birthday. And he always wanted that big hundred. He said he was going to throw himself up a hundred, a big birthday party on his, but I kind of prayed him out sooner. Hmm. Well, <laughs> Not you, that because I didn't, want him party. To, I didn't want him to go, yeah, he had a big party. And he was with my mom hmm. and his dog, Reggie, mm -hmm. and Ernie's dogs, and everybody, and my dog, everybody's, I mean, they're all, they're all having a blast. November 18th. Well, my sister said, and mom's probably cooking for them. She cooked every day. November 18th. Like okay. Our scripture verse today is from one of my best favorite chapters, Romans chapter 8, verse 37. We are more than conquerors through him that loved us. That's very important right there. There it is. This is Pastor Philip today. I heard a story about a boxer who won the championship title. He trained and trained and trained some more to prepare for the big fight. Finally, the day came for 15 long, hard, punching rounds. He sweated and bled, but victory came as he knocked out his opponent in the last few seconds of the fight. Jubilant over the triumph and happy about his $1 million check, he went home. His wife met him at the door to congratulate him on his hard-fought victory and then took the $1 million check right out of his hands. Even though he was now the champion of the world, because he had conquered his opponent, she was more than a conqueror. She never threw a punch. She never sweat and bled. But she had, but she had the million-dollar check. That is such a picture of Jesus and his bride. The church... I'm sorry. That is such a picture of Jesus and his bride, the church. Jesus won the victory for us by defeating death, hell, and the grave, by spoiling principalities and powers through his death, burial, and resurrection. Praise God, Jesus is the conqueror, but we get the check. Jesus became sin that we could be made the righteousness of God in him. 2 Corinthians 5.21 He did the conquering. We get the check. By Jesus' stripes, we are healed. 1 Peter 2.24 He did the conquering. We get the check. Jesus became poor so that we, through his poverty, could be made rich. 2 Corinthians chapter 8, verse 9 He did the conquering. We get the check. You kind of repeated that quite a bit, didn't you? Driving the point. That's huh? right. The one who is more than a conqueror is the one who gets the check. Hello. That conquering wife could never have gotten in the ring and won that fight, but she didn't have to. It's so good. Such a, a another uh, great um, example of getting that point across. Okay, where was I? The, the love that conquering champion had for his wife gave him the strength to persevere, 
conquers upon it and bring the million-dollar check home to her. For the joy set before Jesus, he endured the cross to bring the check home to his love, his bride, the righteous. So awake to righteousness and be more than a conqueror and receive the check. But we got a big check coming again. <laughs> well, bunch of checks. You know, you, you hear the check is in the mail. You hear the statement: Jesus paid it all. <laughs> Nobody believes it. We bought with a price, and uh, heaven's best. <clears throat> when you think about that analogy there, how for fifteen rounds. Uh, you know, Carmen did that video yeah. about uh, Champion. Remember Excellent, that? The yeah. Champion? Excellent. And uh, in that video, you know, you talking oh, yeah, no, man. 40 right. days and uh, Jesus and the devil were going at it or something like that. And, and uh, but uh, we didn't have to fight. We didn't ever, we didn't have to even step into the ring. And we still As a matter of fight fact, you, to get in that ring, uh, you you get your head pounded. But Jesus went in there and uh, gave Dead the knockout horse. blow, and we get the benefit exactly. of that. Exactly. But, but what has happened in, in, in mainstream Christianity is this suffering doctrine, is this, well, God won't put on you any more than you can bear, and everyone has a burden, and... That it's always this beat down, uh, got to feel some kind of uh, pain, some kind of suffering uh, to qualify themselves. Or the total opposite, the goofy grace. Yeah, well, that, I ain't talking about, yeah, yeah. right. You One gotta watch, yeah, you got to watch. But uh, Jesus. Paid it all. Well, think he about it. He got the paycheck. He Think about pay. everything he did was substitutionary work. That's right. And the agony, mm. the Bible says he took on agony in the Garden of Gethsemane and he sweat, as it were, blood. great drops of blood. And, uh, Jesus. you know, medical science tells us that when somebody sweats blood like that, they are, they are, going, they are undergoing extreme mm. mental anguish that's causing their physical body to actually, I mean, it's, oh, Jesus ain't the only one that's ever done that. Now, I know at the cross, Father God had to turn his head, but he, Father God had to turn away from Jesus before that, or he couldn't go through that anguish in the garden. For a small moment have I forsaken thee, but with great mercies have I gathered thee. But uh, this God. is all substitutionary work. Jesus agonizing uh, in the garden. Then he's brought to uh, the judgment hall where he's stripped of his uh, robe and they put uh, a robe on him and, and make it out like he's a king and they they're, mm -hmm. they're, uh, they they put a blindfold on him and they're, punching they're, his they're, face they're and punching him on. saying, okay, prophesy, uh, who, who hit you? Are, are you kidding he could have told. He, he could have told every one of them who, <laughs> who it was, and then they pulling out his beard and spitting on him, yeah, and space. and and so on and so forth. And then, then he's taken to the whipping post, and at the whipping post, uh, you know, the the custom was thirty nine uh, stripes on the back, but it was the Romans that were doing this. They didn't have such a custom. So there, there's no telling how many stripes. Oh, was they on, didn't do thirty-nine. There's no telling how oh. many stripes was put on oh, Jesus' so back. Wow! And then wow. after that, they throw a wooden cross Jesus. on his shoulder and, his and back tell is him ripped to open. and tell Jesus. him to carry it all the way up to Calvary. And he is so beaten, so weak. loss of blood and weak that he falls. Oh. And uh, uh, a man there by the name of Simon. I mean. is is given the assignment to carry the cross up there. Then when he gets up there to the cross, they oh and they put a crown of thorns, they ram a crown of thorns on his on his head, uh, mocking him as a king, and then they nail his hands to the cross, nail his feet to the cross, 
Then they lift that up, and then now they begin to mock him and say, hey, if you be, if you be the Son of God, uh, come, come down, down from the cross. All of that, all of that, in, in there, he's in the ring. We're more than conquerors. We don't have to do any of that. We get the paycheck. What we what we had, what we do? Whoa. Here's the paycheck. I'm crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live. Nevertheless, I live. Not I. I got what he got, but I didn't have to do what you he didn't did. Have to pay that price. I get the paycheck. So when when Jesus died and was buried and raised from the dead, went into hell, raised from the dead, the paycheck, here's the paycheck. I didn't have to do any of that. All I have to do is, I believe you did that for me. And boom, here's the paycheck. Oh. Oh. Here's the paycheck. I am made the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. That's more than a million dollar paycheck. You can't, you can't, you can't, uh, the, the richest people no on the price, planet can't no buy can't their buy way that. into that. But faith can. Shh. Believing in the goodness of God. Oh, my. What a life. But, you know, exactly. I mean, that's what faith can that's, and does, and that's what, no, you can only receive your righteousness by faith. And for some reason, People make, I mean, I know what they've said to me, like it's so hard. You know, for some reason, they think that's hard. No, what Jesus did was hard. <laughs> Not, well, and living living like a, even. Living under the curse. That's hard. That's, 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 that's extremely Shoot. hard. It'll the way you. of the transgressor is hard. Mm -hmm. Not hard for us. Mm -hmm. I mean, we've been given it. God even made it easy for us not to sin. Mm -hmm. I mean, and the more you walk with God and know who you are, sin is not even an option. It's not an option mm -hmm. anymore. It's like you don't even think of it. Mm -hmm. And now one day you may, you know, stumble and do something stupid, but that's not willfully sinning. That mm -hmm. don't happen. Mm -hmm. When that happens, you you've slid back mm -hmm. big time, you mm -hmm. know, and and you have to, and when you do sin or, or make a serious mistake, you have the gift of repentance. I don't care what anybody says about that grace. You have the gift of repentance. Well, we're, we're more than conquerors. <sighs> See, it's, one, it's, it's great Conquerors to, to be day. a conqueror, but we're more than. Kind and of he gives us, the, look, he gives us the victory. Doesn't that what the Bible says? That's what the Bible said. He gives us the victory. Thanks be unto God. Always causes us. Always causes us to try. Thanks be to God who gives us the victory. And God gives us the victory, right? So and that million dollar paycheck. So <laughs> here it is. I'm supposed to get in that ring. I'm gonna fight this opponent that I can't that I can't whoop. And Jesus comes and says, Hey, come yeah, out of the ring. I'm good at you. I got this for you. But Jesus, you you don't you don't do anything. To qualify being in the ring, you have to be a sinner to be in the ring. It's all right. I'm going to take your sin. That's going to qualify me to get in that ring. And what it's going to do, I'm going to change your life. I'm going to make you more than what you were before. I'm going to make the devil wish he never messed with you. Listen, 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 folks. God's plan for our life is not just for us to escape hell. No. Not just Jeez. to have sin forgiven. Come on. But to be more than Come on. the one. We're not talking about being more than Jesus. Thank you. We're talking about being more than uh, who we were before the conqueror came. He conquered so that we can be more than just a conqueror. 
Jesus is a king. He made us more than a conqueror. He made us a king yeah, like himself. That's right. He made us a priest like himself. He made us the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus like, like himself. himself. We are more than. I'm more than. Heir of God, joint heir with Jesus. Hmm. Should never have a problem. Joint heir with Jesus. We talked about how we have joint bank accounts. You know, I can just write a check and and take well, withdraw watch, from watch your it. account or yeah, watch this, huh? Your account, our account. I tried to conquer drugs. Yeah, I couldn't. See, I that's, tried, that's what's I so tried, marvelous. I tried to conquer alcohol. I tried to conquer uh, sexual perversion. I tried to, I, I mean, I tried. Depression. Yeah. Depression. I tried to conquer it. Can't, Couldn't. Can't. But when I came to Jesus, he'd already conquered death, hell, and the grave. He got it. Okay. And I was more than that. <laughs> All of a sudden, what five drug programs couldn't do, boom, here I am. Boom. What? I'm more than. I remember we used to say, this is, sound, it sounds too good to be true. It does. It sounds like it's too good to be true, but it's true. That's what, you know, with all this fake news and fake everything, fake world that uh, people live in. I, I, I'm in it, but I, I'm not of it. I don't partake in it. All this fake, everything's fake. You know, it's so sad that these, these people that want to change their gender, you know, you know, you could take all the body parts off of you that you want, and you could add on all kind of body parts that you want to. But this don't ever change. That's right. You're going to always think as a man, and you're going to always think as a woman. The only, the no only, matter how you look, no matter what you got rid of, or the you only, could take the only every way, drug. The only way you're not going to think that way is total deception uh, by inviting uh, the devil to... Uh, and that won't last forever. That's right, to, uh -huh. to infiltrate your mind. You're going to go totally but insane. we're more than conquerors. Now, look what, look what this says. It says, we are more than conquerors to him, to him. that loved us. That's what us. I said when I read it, that mm -hmm. loved us. When you know that love, mm -hmm. that's why, you know, a while back when God said, faith worketh by love, and that love is that you know that God loves you. Mm -hmm. I have people telling me all the time that was that spoke to me when you when I when I spoke out what God was saying what I heard God saying in my spirit. I mean that that spoke volumes spoke to me that day. But people keep telling me. Well, God as, knows as what you pastor, need to hear. As a pastor, it's happened to me uh, several times that God opens my eyes and I'm looking at the congregation and this. I see them through the love eyes of God. Yeah, yeah. And all of a sudden, it, it's it's overwhelming. Yeah, I know. Because I know. as much as we love God, as much as we love God, and, yeah. and, and we think, we want to believe, we love God with everything we got, right? His love surpasses, all it takes, if, if, if His, if, if our love equaled his love, even though his love is shed abroad in our, in our heart, if if our love was equal to his love, we would never be overwhelmed by his love. When it, when it, you know how he, from time to time he'll flood you with with his love. Oh, yeah. well, if our love was equal, it wouldn't flood us. That's right. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. And those 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 various mo times that God has opened my eyes as pastor, as a spiritual father. And I'm looking at the congregation, and it's just like I see. I mean, I love them anyways, but I see. Uh, it, it's it's like it's the difference of uh, using your uh, God faith that's in you or the gift of faith. When the gift of faith comes on you, it's a different ball game than using your faith uh, just from faith cometh by hearing, hearing by the word of God. And when that happens, it really sets me uh, in perspective of how much the price was paid. Yeah. For right now. Right now. Right now, not to, not not for when you die and, ex and escape hell.
for right now living, how much he loves us. He wants us in a nice house. He wants us driving nice. He wants us wearing nice. He wants us to be ruling and reigning. Yeah. We are more than the government. Yes. More than Congress. Yes, this church has been so backwards. Okay. We We're get the check. Time. We get we the get, check. It's in the mail. Yeah. <laughs> check is in the mail. <gasps> well, uh, I enjoyed this today. Yeah, I did. And, I've been and, enjoying uh, it all week. Yeah, it's been a good week. Yeah. But we got one more. One more. Friday. Day. Right? But Ecclesiastes chapter 8, verse 4 says this, where the word of a king is, there, there is, is power. power. Be a blessing. Awake to Righteousness with a daily devotional by Drs. Philip and Alberta Derber. In this powerful devotional, you'll learn the different aspects of the righteousness or right standing that Jesus has provided. Get the reality of what Jesus has done deep down inside of you to the point that every day you awake to righteousness. Awake to Righteousness includes 365 daily devotions accompanied by a master key verse and a scriptural meditation for every day of the year. Get your Awake to Righteousness devotional today. You can order online at our website or give us a call at 502-875-7886.